Let's talk about the page we are going to crawl first. Many of you are looking to do web crawling so that you have data on competitors, prices and stock. I was looking at H&M as my first example and I quickly found out that you could easily get all their prices and products using their hidden API. So let me first show you how you can easily get a lot of products from a website like H&M and you can simplify your project drastically and still get amazing results. Let's take our example with H&M first. If we go on to the new arrivals in the women section, in the United States section, and let's go to the women and let's take, check out the new arrival section here with the clothes section. Okay, so now the first thing we need to do is to open up Chrome Developer tab. So on Mac, you can press F12. You can also press on the three dots up here in the upper corner. And then you can go to more tools and then go to developer tools. And now we see this little tab on the side opening up here where you can see the HTML source. You can also see a console tab and a network tab. Make sure that you have preserve log enabled and disable cache. Preserve log is going to keep having the log even though you navigate around in the site. And disable cache is simply disabling the cache so you don't get cached results, but that you hit the API every time we get results. So in here you can see, let me zoom in a bit. You can see there's a lot of requests being made. You can see the type over here and you can see the HTTP status code here. You can also see here where the request was initiated from and you can see how much time it took and the size of it. The type of request we're interested in here to find the API is called a, a XHR request. It's basically used to get HX requests between the website and a web server. It's often used to deliver JSON data. So there's no XHR request right now. And we can also have a filter up here to filter only the image request. So that's only the type of images that the we are getting in the network tab for the website. You can see when I hover my mouse over these images, they are fetching new images, but we actually are looking for the XHR request. So that's the API request, but you can see there's actually no request being made via XHR right now. There's no JSON data being fetched from the website. But if we go scroll down, we can see there's one XHR request being made right now, but this is from another domain called doubleclick.net. This is most likely some kind of tracking for the customers on the website so that H&M have some kind of data of their users. I can see there's also a Google Analytics ID inside here, the UA with the dash 555. Anyway, um, if we scroll down and the case for a lot of these types of sites is that when we click on load more products, we actually do a, a XHR request or a HX request, a JSON request. I would just call it from now on. So now when I click on that, boom, there we go. We have a product listing dot display dot JSON, which sounds very promising for what we are trying to get, which is all the products from the website. So I'm going to enlarge the tab here. And now when we click on the request here, we can see some more info about it. So we can see the, uh, the headers, the preview of the data, and we can see a response as well. So the preview here inside, we can see there is a total number. It's JSON data in here. This is, JavaScript data, so to say. It has items shown and a total. Um, let's go and see what the products property here is. Well, that is an array with lots of products, it looks like. Yeah, so we have a link for a product. We have a title, embrace high angle jeans, 
And we also have a list of images. We have some images for the product. And we also have a price down here. And let's try and search for this title as well on the side just to see if it's actually showing in here. So if I press Control F and then I search for it, we can see the product is actually right here. And um, so this is the, when we clicked on load more products, we got a JSON data response and then the JavaScript is updating the site HTML with these new products. So right now we basically have everything that we need in order to get data from this site. I'm going to show you now also how to do this request in, not just in your web browser because this is where it originates from, but we also need to be able to do it from another client or inside of Node.js. So now in the next section, let's take a look at how we can do this request inside of another client, in this case, the Postman REST API client instead of a, just a web browser and how we can get every product that H&M has.